It is 643 on this Tuesday morning and the air quality around the region remains hazardous. Meteorologist Kelly Bayern has your forecast in just a moment. Yeah, but first, a lot of you have health questions about all this smoke, which is why we asked you to leave your concerns on a post on our COIN Facebook page. Now, we have Dr. Akram Khan, an OHSU pulmonologist here to help answer some of your questions. Good morning, Dr. Khan. Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Oh, we're, we're holding up okay, but Doing you know, well. it's uh, it's been a little smoky even in the building here at COIN. Um, so we, we have gotten a lot of viewer questions about this smoke and how it's impacting their health. Um, wanted to start first with this question from a viewer named Sherry. She wants to know if the smoke can cause migraines. Well, smoke can increase the incidence of headaches. It can... Uh, increase the incidence of respiratory symptoms. It is the particles of carbon monoxide that increase uh, people getting headaches and certainly getting headaches can, from the smoke can further precipitate migraines. So it will increase the chance of people getting uh, headaches. Mm -hmm. Well, and so, people have been reporting those. Mm. Okay, uh, Dr. Khan, since exercising outdoors is not highly recommended right now, uh, one of our viewers named Sarah wants to know if exercising at home while you're indoors is okay, even if you don't have an air purifier at home. I think people need to see what kind of symptoms they are facing. If they're not having any symptoms and their air is relatively clean, exercising at home is probably fine. However, if they start getting symptoms, if they start getting more short of breath, it may be uh, better to reduce uh, exercise activity. Mm, okay, yeah, I tried exercising at home yesterday and I felt short of breath. I thought it was just me being out of shape, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's the smoke <laughs> in that case. Hey, yeah. uh, Dr. Andy, one of our viewers, wondering whether, this is an interesting question, whether the fruits and vegetables in her garden are still safe to eat, you know, because of all the smoke in the air. I think we should definitely wash the fruits and vegetables that we are using locally certainly there's going to be particulate matter that is going to settle down on them. So we should wash them thoroughly before uh, eating. Okay. We have a viewer named Michelle, and uh, this is her question. She wants to know, what are the long-term effects to breathing this hazardous air? Over the long-term, what can we expect? Well, we know from cities like Beijing and New Delhi that people who are exposed to particulate matter over long periods of time can develop chronic respiratory infections. They can develop chronic lung conditions. Currently, with what we are facing in Portland, that amount of particulate matter is probably equivalent to smoking half a pack to one and a half pack of cigarettes a day. Hmm. So probably, it is not going to affect us in the short term for a few weeks. But if we have long term particulate exposure, we are much more likely to face respiratory infections, uh, allergic symptoms, red eyes, and worsening of our other chronic conditions. Wow. So that's not an exact, I've heard people say that about the, it's like smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. Uh, and yeah, our air quality has been ranked worse than New Delhi uh, for yes. the past at least week or so, which is, is crazy to think about. Um, but definitely something to, to keep in mind as we all try to stay safe out there. Dr. Khan with OHSU, thank you so much for joining us and answering some of our viewer questions. Thank you very much. Well, let's take a look at our uh, weather forecast right now. We know that we